Well, all right, today is prospecting day. No mining, we just want to find some gold that no one else has found yet. You know, future locations to do some mining at. I love days like this, they're like an adventure. A treasure hunt, let's go. So I'm looking for a place to do some prospecting. This is the creek looking uphill. And I see it come racing down here during a storm. You see how it goes around the corner here? It goes around and then it goes around. So let's sample this area thoroughly and see if we can find some gold. What I'm looking for is a high concentration of black sand. If I can, that's what I want. No, negative. Let's try another spot. I'm gonna try right there with that one gravel. Let me show you. I'll zoom up. I'm thinking maybe In this area right here. It's like a possibility. So it looks like there's some clay in it. Not necessarily a bad thing. We'll give it a try. First things first, break up the clay. No use panning if you got clay in the pan. You gotta break it up. Nice chunk of quartz right here. It'd be cool if I ever saw gold in one of these. Moving on. Don't know what this is. It's an old mining road. Check out some new sites. Some new places on the creek. We've had no rain in the longest time. That's why everything is so low. So that appears to be an old feeder creek that goes into the main creek right here. So I'm thinking maybe in this area right here, give it a quick look. Because if you look, it's also on the inside curve. So let's go down there. Against that back wall right here. And see what we can see.
time to move on. Nice big quartz. Fall. See if we get all the leaves. What do y'all think? Little guy, little eyes, little legs. I'll put him somewhere safe. Wash off those rocks. They stop gold really well. Whenever the wind blows really hard, I always look for branches that might be falling so you can move out of the way. Don't trust them trees. Just a little specks. I blow up on it for you. You see it? They're small. Museum. Right in that corner right there. Right there. Actually there's three of them. There's a two regular specks and one that's smaller, a mere dot. But you know what? That's something. I'll take it. I didn't find any in that one, but that's okay, because I know there is gold here. We need to go out and try a few more spots. So I'm saving some of the final concentrates as they go along. You know, the last remnants in the pan. I want to take them home and do a better, you know, check of them. I'm one of the mini solutions. You can see the black sand in there. So I always miss gold. I'll admit it. So this is what I see. The water comes roaring down here, comes roaring down here, you know, banks against that. 
there's the inside turn right here. So I'm thinking maybe right in there. So I'm thinking. So we'll give that a try. So that's like a uh, little pressure area right in here. Not over there. You can see the water just went boom and hit it. It comes down here. And this whole area right here is sticking out because it's a little pressure area. Definitely black sand. It's all black sand right up in there. There. Maybe there's some gold in there. Let's give it a check. It was just like one little micro dot, which really isn't worth it, but again, it just proves there's some gold here. I don't think I'd bring my sluice out to this spot, because, uh... No. Nada. As in, not a thing. You know, most of prospecting is pretty much about finding nothing. Ninety-nine percent of the time, nothing. I don't show videos of nothing because they're boring. That's why I try to show the videos where we actually do find gold, because they're fun. Anyone who says they find gold all the time, well, yeah. Right, I got a bridge to sell you. It's interesting looking down here. It just seems like a, uh, a little pressure area. Right in there. What do y'all think? Looks good? Me too. Gosh, I thought there's leaves everywhere. I can't see anything. But the water will come rushing down here. Bang, hit up against that. Come over here where it slows down and maybe just drops gold in this area. Let's give it a try. Okay. There's a nice speck right there. A little white dot right there. Looks white because the sun's not shining. There's probably a lot of little stuff that you can't even see. But I like the size of that speck. That's a good sign. All right, so it looks like uh, one big speck. Oops. One big speck and one little speck. Big being relative, of course. <laughs> relative to the little tiny one. So yeah.
classify. We'll let that run for a minute. The black sand's taking a long time to come out. That's good. That's what I want. I want it to be really slow. Like there's a piece of gold right there. I think there's one right there. It looks something white though. No, well, I think it's gold. Because it's not going anywhere. And the fact that it just disappeared below the black sand's a good thing. Someone asked me to use the flower gold wizards. Smooth water me. So I said I would. So here you go. I still haven't worked out the best setup yet, but I'm using the Gold Fox Mini Monster Power and Water Pump. We'll let it go. Let's crank it up a little bit. with that. All right, here's the smallest size. Bring it up a little bit. See it? See up there? In the far right corner. It's all gold up there. Remember, I didn't see all that when I was out there. I just saw a couple of little dots, but I took all of those little bits of concentrates I had and brought them home, knowing full well that I was going to miss some. And sure enough, there you go. better for you here. Remember, th well this is the smallest size, so we'll do the next one, the next smallest. Maybe we'll get some more. I mean, that's not bad, because we were just testing the area. We weren't mining. We just wanted to know there was gold in the area. And now we know definitively that there is gold there. Let me zoom out for you. There you go. It's hard to get the light just right. That yellow stuff in the front. Let's do the next size. And here's the next size. You can see at least a little piece popping out. See it there? It's like a little yellow light bulb. Shake, shake, shake. More than one, that's the question. Looks like one, maybe another one next to it. Yeah. All right. Two little dots. I think that's probably going to be it, but I'll check the other ones anyway. Next to those two, there's two little micro dots you probably cannot see, but they are so small. I'm going to go on to the next size. Um, if I find something, I'll show you. If not, then we'll see you inside and take a look at this thing when it's dried out.